it's that time of the month that we make a how to stay rolling video so i've installed the old pc the old iso which is called 231203 we're almost end of the year what do we need to do to stay rolling to stay as close to Arcnex XL as possible there are literally hundreds of videos about how to update and it's always a little bit about yeah knowing what to do right maintenance maintenance of operating system how to stay rolling so this can go that can go old n i would really like to see another wallpaper do like it still love it but uh, in the video always youtube always the same wallpaper so there we have uh, so if you if you're wondering alt n and alt, alt arrow to the right and left and up and all these things are all key bindings for variety variety is the guy that gives us beautiful wallpapers if you set it from wallhaven for example topic is uh, how to update and one of the things that is changed uh, remember we had an issue with um, pamac and pamac is uh, not from us it's from manjaro but we built the code from the GitHub, well, GitLab actually, from Anjaro. So straight from there, without going uh, using the AOR or anything like that. And we did that because of the problems we had in the past from the PAMEC AOR that came from the AOR. So we build our own thing, Arknox PAMEC all. Then there were issues with, with dependencies and packages, and I said, okay, whatever, this month we're gonna use Octopi. And I do think that some people really like it and huh? really say, okay, I'm gonna keep this because it's always a personal preference as usual. You go ahead and see if you like something or not and then decide, right? So some of you will keep using Octopi. Fine, fine, it's just an app, it's just a GUI. And all it does is update the system and of course a little bit more. So update and update, both of them are working. I want to explain you how to stay rolling, right? How to stay as close as possible to Arclex. So we need to remove Octopi. <laughs> but okay, just skip that part. Learning what change to your operating system is important. And there are a few things you can do. And one of the things is open up. Thunar and then you go and run first before you update things you say make me a backup of scale etc scale is a file that all the Linux systems use and in that scale file well folder is the core the soul the heart the look the design the configurations of XFC, Mate, Plasma, it's all in there, right? So if you create another user, Eric is my name. If I create Frank, Frank will get the same start. This is the start. This is what I'll get. Get the bash RC, get the ZSHRC and so on. Okay. So if I type this backup scale, it's just an alias that's going to do the following. Copy paste etc scale to a folder hidden so you don't see it but it's still there if you need it you can have a look and it's a certain date a certain hour and that's before the update right so if you do another update well the first update basically we skip the other one you see what's going to happen well this is a name change so quantum goes to quantum qt5 kit cool fine and a lot of packages that come in and maybe you don't have a clue yet, but most of these things are Arch, right? Here we are, <laughs> that's it, that's it. All the rest is Arch Linux. Yeah, this one too, right? That's one of us, of us as well, of ours. Okay, go. I see here the little Pac-Man's working. If I'm not happy, happy about the little Pacmans, I mean, there is this possibility to do a parallel download. On my machine, I don't take eight, I take 20, which is a bit faster. And that's because I have a good internet, 
right? So next time around, it will open up 20 parallel downloads, which will, woof, it's downloaded, right? And then of course, it's still the time to, whoops, to um, go and install everything. And he's upgrading and installing things. And sometimes we do have an issue. So it seems there is no issue today, but it does, it makes sense to include in the video. Keys are a problem everywhere, actually. Oh, the other day was on Red Hat, I think, and uh, keys. So in here, we call it Arch Linux Keyring. That's the package you need to get in, and then you update. There's another nice thing to remember is the fix key. It's just a little script that says, go get rid of all the rubbish that might be on the system and start again with a clean slate. Getting back the Arch Linux key ring in, getting back the Arch Linux keys in, and so on, right? It really is a saver. Time saver and life saver, okay? So at this point in time, he's installing things I do not want, and certainly not on VirtualBox. So do think, make the, um, do the work and say, do I actually have Broadcom? Do I need it? This one. Do I need this one, right? These two guys are on the ISO because you guys asked for it. We'd like to have support for that. Fine, it's on the ISO, but I don't need it. Right, so the first thing I do on my own own real metal machines and certainly in virtual box, remove it because it takes time. It takes time to build. And if you're building something that you don't need, mm, right. All this is taken care by the Arclinx Nemesis scripts. I run the script afterwards and it basically does this remove it from my system. So that's up to you to decide to follow up. If everything is up to date, updates not only writes to etc scale, but at least you have this huh? backup scale. If I do it again after the update, get another one before, after. And you know what I'm going to say, the only way to really learn efficiently is compare. What's the name? Melt, right? So sometimes I use the word, the verb melt. Melt it. <laughs> so compare is what we use here as a word. And then you don't want to see the file filters here. You don't want to see the same. Uh -uh. You want to see what's new and what's changed. So here we have and a change, make initcpo.sh, and you can see what's in there. That was indeed for the V console, SDV console, get rid of it so we don't see it anymore. Okay, was well, stay rolling, 2023, bin, stay rolling, 2023, 11, November. So, fish, is something changed here and that is the new aliases to go to boot means install system d and to grub means install grub again all right it's going to be a choice in the future to either go for grub or boot but then if everything is installed and you reboot it you can still go back to grub or can still go to boot which gives us freedom and flexibility there is a new guy, eh? System D boot. It has a configuration file. So end loader quickly goes to that particular thing. You type something like timeout, something like that, and change to the seconds from five to zero, five to one, save, done. A quick way to quickly change things. Kernel, what kernel are we on? What kernels do I have? Same thing. Going to have, uh, making a list of what's in there in the folder. And what am I actually on today? Am I now on systemd? Am I now on grub? That was my issue. And developing everything is, oh, what I'm on. I have to reboot to know what I'm on. So that's not working. So boot and then boot CTL status gives you actually you're on grub or you're on systemd boot. So that's new. These things are extra. And these go in everything. So patch RC, ZSH, quick look, patch RC, same thing. 
everywhere, same thing. The three shells. So basically what I need to do is to tell you if you want to use these control T, these aliases, see what you're on, what's your default. Shell is here bash, which means copy the bash. Copy the bash, it's there. Boot. Okay, I'm on grub. Kernel. Uh huh. So it's already there. If you're on ZSH, CZ, copied, and CF, fish, copied. There you go. So it's that easy in this case to update or stay rolling. There is one thing we could do, and that's indeed get rid of octopi, but it's really up to you. So pseudo pacman minus remove octopi. Since the topic of the video is stay as close as possible to what we have, then this has to go. And pseudo pacman minus s pamac AOR is a new name. Forget Arcanix pamac call doesn't exist anymore. It's not on our repos anymore. That's it. And it's a package that builds daily, right? If there is an update, then it just builds, gets built with the other 800, which is easier. So, super X maybe, log out. So we can see Pamac A warm, Octopi is gone. This guy is in. And you know the drill about Pamac, you need to tell him, hey, Take a look, there is more than just Arch and Arco, there is also AWAR. So then you can look and find other stuff like icons, give me icons, lots of icons. And you can immediately have a look around on AWAR here. What's available, lots and lots of things are available. You keep on scrolling and then later on maybe you just say yay icons, same thing terminal, GUI, same thing. All right, I'm thinking about anything else. Let me pause the video and think. All right, so did the check? No, everything is okay. This means that I'll make a new package called bin, uh, Arcanlinks bin, stay rolling 2023. And if we wanna go from there to there, meaning if we wanna go from, this needs to go, from 12, that's good, to 2401. That's gonna be the new folder, yes. And in here is just nothing to do, right? Because there is basically, it's, I leave it up to you, Octopi, Pamac, is we're not gonna push anything out. You choose, you've seen the video, you just uh, make your choice in life. All right, that's how we stay rolling. Cheers.